Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today is part two on how I accidentally stole a grill, the pickup. Enjoy. All right, so on to part two, the pickup. So it was about seven o'clock Easter Sunday. Again, go to my son, do you wanna make the road trip? He said, yes, there was one thing. He had a VR poker tournament going on at eight. He asked me if we'd get back in time. I said, of course, oh, of course. It was only about 25 minutes away or so. I knew damn well we weren't making it back in time. So he actually grabbed his little VR headset. Looked like a nerd on wheels, let me tell you. Uh, driving up there, but it was making him sick to his stomach, the motion, when I would turn and drive. So he abandoned that project, so he tried to be a trooper. So we bombed up. Um, basically, there's a, a little section there where it goes from about 55, 60, drops right down to 30. Well, I kind of blew by doing about uh, 40, 45, look over to my right, see Officer Friendly right there. Just kind of let me go right by. So we drive drive through um, using the nav system, pull up and it says, you've reached your destination, your destination is on the left. I look over like anybody would to the left and I see the exact same grill that I saw on Facebook Marketplace there. And again, these are, these are grills you don't see every single day. It's the Weber Performer with the cart, with the copper top, just sitting, you know, right there in a front yard. Looked at the address, saw the number. Um, I thought, hey, let's do this. So I go through, turn around, park, get out, kind of walk in like I, to the front yard, like I own the place because they told me that they weren't going to be there. So I didn't bother knocking on the door, ringing the doorbell, anything like that. Um, you know, we, we pull it out, we're taking a look at it, and I'm noticing that the top is awful dinged up. And the one in the picture that he showed me wasn't, you know, dinged up at all. So I thought, you know what, it's free. Who cares? I'm really not even going to use the top with my Santa Maria attachment. So we start pulling it out. I see a, a charcoal starter there, a chimney, a bag of charcoal. Um, the chimney starter looks a lot better than my used and abused one. So I give the gentleman a call. So I give him a call and saying, hey, we're here. Uh, we're picking up the grill. Um, but I see you got this uh, charcoal starter and the charcoal. Uh, do the, those come with or not? And he said, yeah, why not? I'm moving out of town. Uh, go ahead and grab those. So we wheel the grill out, lift it up in the truck, get it all tied down. And, you know, off we go. During this whole time, I you don't know, 15, 20 minutes, people are coming and going, driving down the street. We're waving, you know, like... Like we're not doing anything wrong, which we didn't think we were. Um, again, get it strapped down. And as we start driving, we get on the main drag. Ash and everything's just spewing out of this guy. Leaving a like a pig pen dust trail behind me. So we pull over and I end up actually laying it down. Uh, tie it back down. We, we still lost some ash as we, as we went, but just felt it was more secure. Get to uh, go by officer friendly again this time with a big dust cloud you know doing the speed limit this time though and we make our way home without any any incident unload it uh put it in the back i'm kind of checking it out a little bit again yeah i noticed that the the lid was dinged up a little bit needed to be cleaned out but he had mentioned in the posting that the ash clean out um you know, needed to be replaced or wasn't in good condition. And this one was just super tight, um, working like a champ. So, you know, that kind of made me say, hmm. So I really didn't think about it that much. Just kind of put it in the backyard and figured, hey, next weekend, I'll get her all cleaned up, get that Santa Maria grill mounted on it, and away we go. So that wraps up episode two, the pickup. Stay tuned in this series here for parts three, four, and five. Again, the description below, I'll have the individual links. 
and there'll also be a playlist at the end. So if you like the video, make sure you hit that like, I'll put a subscribe icon for you. Right there, some more. How I accidentally stole a barbecue videos right about there. Once again, also down in the description, I will have them all listed. Hey, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.